Nashville, Tennessee, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sobolski. McKinnon's one of those guys that our cameras will be keeping close tabs on here tonight. His name is up on the board in the opposition's dressing room. He's a player they will key on trying to stop. Opening face-off just moments away. The Avalanche have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Colorado's got the puck against the wall. And that's broken up. Gets it over to Granlin. Gains the zone on the left wing. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Shot! Way too much congestion blocks that. The Predators take it along the wing. And that's stopped by Kemper. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. There's another stop! Doesn't lose his focus as he makes a couple of quick ones in a row. Quick feed to Landeskog. Takes a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Carries it across the line. Takes the feed. That's a good shot. He zips it by the goaltender, but he works himself into a clean area on the ice to shoot this from the high slot. The Predators draw first blood here with an early goal. Not much to choose from in the first half of the period. Now you got a leader, and we'll see how this game plays out. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Thunderous use of the body of the hit. As the coach told us before the game, they want to set a physical tone. There's a good hit early. Directs it on over to Kadri. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Nashville's got control of it now from their own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Puck picked up by Taves. Make a change. Scooped Make a up change. along the wall by car. Kadri swooping in on the attack. The Avs take it along the wall. Shot. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Taves carries the puck in his own zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Gets the puck in deep. The Predators have it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Coonan's going to play it against the half wall. Great heads up play with the stick by Gerard. Blocked in traffic. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Nashville's gained possession. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. The Avs take it along the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, and it slides just wide. They work the puck into position. The goalie's in good shape, but he doesn't even have to get a pad or an arm on it as it goes wide of the net. And that carries off a stick. And now he moves it quickly to Byram. Back at the point, they set it up. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Duchesne. Here's a short pass to Forsberg. The Predators move it in. Take the shot. Here's a shot. There's another stop. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The first period is all said and done with as the horn sounds. Just a lone goal is the difference so far as we conclude the first frame. And they'll see their name on our big screen before the end of the game. And while both teams get a refresher, 
We'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. And not much on that one. Picked up along the wall by Landeskog. Gains the zone. Sends the pass over. And that banks off a stick. Grabs the puck in the corner. Denied by the goaltender. Grabbed along the boards by McKinnon. They score! They tie it up! They stayed with it the entire time, Ray! I'm tired of listening to coaches talk about, oh, we followed the process, but the process is you don't get frustrated, you keep chipping away, and you hope to get to this point. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. He used his superstar ability to get that goal, and he's so fun to watch when he's on his game like that, guys. The Avs win the draw here in the neutral zone. Shoots it, turned aside with the glove by Saros. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Moves it quickly over to Duchesne. Takes the pass. A chance. Score! <laughs> You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. The Predators have built themselves a one-goal lead here in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They'd like to take control of the game if they can. They now have the one-goal margin, but they want to stretch it out. With possession along the wall. Right in the slot. Scores! What a finish! James, he's known for this. When there's loose pucks around the front of the net, he always seems to be able to get a stick on it, find position, get another chance on the goal. This time, he beats the goaltender, and it's in the net. I love this. I mean, if, they, if you want to score, you got to get in where the rebound is. If you're just going to watch, pay cash and sit up with the fans. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Granlin's won it. Puck grab by Yossi. Moves it to Granlin. There's a hit on the play. The Avs gain control of the puck. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. And he comes up with it. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. The Predators win the draw. Quick pass to Fabro. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Forsberg's got it against the boards. Wrestling in close. Makes it look easy with the stop. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And now he tries to get it across to Kadri. And he makes the save. Saros gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Kemper's blocker comes into good use there. Good positioning, and he's able to deflect it away. Here in the back half of this period, we got a tie game. Nashville's got a hold of the puck. Moves it over to Yossi. Through center along the wing. Grabs control. 
control of it at the point. Gets the puck over to Minshuskin. Puts it in deep. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. Sends a pass over. Receives the pass. Nashville's got it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. He was totally locked in on that play. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Hey, getting another look at that one, James, right here. Look at that save. Just a piece, just enough to keep it out of the net. Kadri's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Avs are on the attack. From in close. Oh, he makes a stick save, and that went right off the shaft of the stick. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Denied by the goaltender. Natruskin stick handling in his own zone. Quick feed to Kadri. Comes up with the stop. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Oh, well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies him in close. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Brantonen's dragging it along the line. The Predators gain control of the puck against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Predators carry it along the wall. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. And that pass can't connect. Stop your knees. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Fans, time for tonight's lucky road giveaway. Congratulations to section 107 Pro F. Each fan receives a limited edition player's t-shirt. And fans, don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt tonight only at What's in store. store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. Third period, we are all tied up, and the next goal could be a biggie. The Avs have it now. Nashville's got possession here in the offensive zone. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Tries to get it over to Landeskog. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. by the goaltender. Nashville's got the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Duchesne. He carries the puck up along the wing. Duchesne's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Kemper's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. Kemper's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Johansson's won the draw. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And no luck on that pass attempt. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Takes the feed from the left side. Here's a chance! Stopped by the goaltender, he got a little piece of that one. Moves it to Rantanen. From the slot. And that one's blocked. Steps 
inside the line. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. Colorado's moving the puck through center ice. Change up, change up. Snaps it on net. Scores, and they go up by one. Tied no more. That's a big goal to be able to take the lead. Now, coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. He found the open shooting lane with traffic in the zone and came up with the goal, guys. His seeing eye superstar ability means he has the edge when the goalie screened. Nashville's got the puck against the half wall. He was locked in there. Nachuskin's got it along the boards. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick pass to Kunin. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Bluff save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Kemper's not had many shots, but he makes an excellent save there to keep the game close. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Avs are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. And now he angles it across to Burakovsky. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Nashville's got the puck along the wall. And now it's over to Kunin. Shot! That's turned away with the pad by Kemper. Picked up along the boards by Nachuskin. Nashville's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes a wrist shot. Scores! I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. The Predators have essentially said to everybody, buckle up as they have evened things up. You get into the last five minutes, it becomes a crapshoot in a tie game. Quick feed to Nichuskin. He almost lost it for us. That's it! He scores! Man, their bench jumped right up. Both teams know the longer you stay locked in a tie, luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory. This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. Colorado's gone up by one in this third period. Do you attack or do you sit back? Well, for me, it's always to attack. At least don't be conservative yet. Too much time left. Takes a shot. That's good by Saros. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Avs win the faceoff. Cuts to the paint. Stones him in front. Nashville's got it in their own zone. Handles the pass at center. Nashville's got the puck along the wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Nachuskin. Colorado's team defense is something to watch tonight. I love the way that they've just shut this game down. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Forsberg stands deep in the offensive end. Still keeps a hold of it. Nashville's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. Oh, he can't connect. The Predators will play it from the defensive zone. Wrists one. Takes up the zone. Slides it quickly to Burakovsky. And he slides it quickly to Gerard. Moves the puck. Towards the gaping net. Misses the net. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. 
Here they come inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Gets a piece the enough to keep it out. Takes the feed. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Really good game for them. I thought they played well in several different segments of the game, including their face-offs, where they controlled the puck a lot. And, and also in the defensive zone, in addition to the offensive zone. Once there, they right? get the puck clean, they were able to get it out of the zone, and they did a nice job. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebulski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.